Hello, this is Wakula cool, 900 x and welcome to my website. Hey guys, we're going to be jumping back into the run and gun offensive playbook. We're going to be jumping back into pistol trips. The play is going to be called Strong Power. Now, I don't know if you are Madden OGs back in the day, Strong Power was the run and play to pick, but this is a different type of Strong Power. The cool thing about this Strong Power is that you can flip it to left to right too as well, but the deadly thing about this power is that you got extra blocking with the offensive lineman. As you can see, the pull is gigantic. So when you run this, you have to pay attention to the lineman. As you see there, pay attention to the lineman. So in this instance too, we're going to go to the instant replay. I'm going to explain this a little bit more better for this play. Now, the pulling guards that you want to pay attention to is these two. Him and him. Number 55 and number 62. Them, the two guards you want to pay attention to. Them is going to lead you. Now, this is where you, the running back, have to be patient. This is where it comes into play. You don't want to hold turbo. I'm just playing around. So, when you run this play, you have to be patient because it's going to blow up in your face. So, now, you got to be able to follow the blockers and see where they're going. Now, what makes this play a little bit more better because running to the right side not going to be good. But if you run it to the left with the three receivers really good so when you run into the level three receivers now look at the blocking <laughs> big difference right so when you run the strong power that's where you want to run it so an instant replay here you still got the pulling guards you still got the two pulling guards here they're still going around he got checked up a little bit but if he's running the lane you'll be able to run that play every time so the trick to this is you want to flip it to the strong side basically with the receivers. Now, this is where it get interesting. You can slot protect left. You can ID Mike anybody you want. I'll probably get more into that in the future of man or the new one. So it's totally up to you. And, um, you know, you do anything you want. Max protection left, all that stuff. So this is where it gets interesting because this is where you got to learn stick skills. So now you see you got blocking. So now this is where you have to follow the blocking. Following the blocking is going to be a little bit different. So now let's see if I take it seriously. Okay, he's running left. So now see my blockers. You see how they line efficiently? So let's see if I can break a little bit more. So he pulled in the guard. He didn't get free. So now the blocking. That was my mistake. So you have to learn when to press L2. I mean R2 for the turbo and not turbo. So let's see if we can run max protect. So now he's getting blocked. He clogged up the line and pushed back. So in this instance, you have to learn how to follow the line. I can't really get it because I'm trying to talk to y'all at the same time. So if I'm concentrated, yeah, I can really get one. So I'm going outfield. Pretty good. That's not bad. Still gaining yards on every throw. I'm still looking for the lanes. So you can definitely look for the lanes that you want to if flipping the play. So sometimes that guard, yeah, that guard there, you see him. So when he runs out, you got to learn when to move, when to shake, because it's kind of risky to run this play, but it's not at the same time. See how he gets free, but you got all that blocking. So in my instance, when I run this play, like when I used to run it heavy, I always try to cut back outside so I can lead that blocker up. So in instance, you want to cut back outside in this instance. So when you flip the play to the left, they say it's not the strong side to run to the left. And sometimes you can, but when he flips to the left, see how he flips to the left? Now you can cut back inside. See, now it, it comes out to be a crazy play, but you can do so much more with it. So just follow your blocker, follow the line, practice in the practice room, see where you want to go. See how it cuts back. See how it cuts back outside? Nah, you can actually dance with it. Now you see what I'm talking about. <laughs> Finally broke free of one. So now when I'm telling you, when you cut back inside, just, just a left stick. That's why I said practice with your left stick. When you see this, in an in instance, you would say, oh, I can run this, but you forget this guy is here. He already broke past the corner. So now take that corner and use number four, number four here as the blocker. So now when he cuts corner, all you got to do is go right past him. You just left stick right past him. No juke move, no ninjas, easily left stick right past him. And you got you a couple yards up the field. <laughs> so, very simple and easy to run a strong power. I hope you enjoyed this tip to run it and the pistol trips. I'm out of here, guys. Deuces.